Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you an NA10 agent, which is a time travel agent, right? I have built this AI agent, which is a bit, you know, a bit innovative, a bit uh, creative, you can say in a way uh, that is for uh, all the women's, you know, all the women who are pregnant, right? Uh, who are expecting a baby in upcoming months. And I have built this, you know, very fun project, a uh, very fun workflow. You know, uh, and, it, and what it does, guys, you know, it basically, let's say if, if a woman is pregnant and you want to uh, create an agent that kind of simulate a conversation between uh, the woman and uh, the baby, uh, the C is carrying, right? And that's what it is. So it sends this, ag this agent workflow sends an email every morning uh, to the woman who is carrying the uh, baby right and uh, it's basically simulate in a way that the email is by the baby itself okay even before uh, he or she is born right and that's what it does very fun also let me show you that okay so uh, if you look at here uh, this is the workflow but i'll first show you the email okay if you look at this email it says hi mommy uh, guess what i did today i started growing my little arm and leg birds it feels so weird like a teeny t uh, tickles but i'm super excited to wiggle them soon and blah 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 right wow i'm learning so much already it's basically an email that the baby sends to the mother right even before the baby is here right uh, on, on this planet right and this is like a time travel kind of stuff where after when the baby is born after he or she is like let's say on the 18th birthday or something you can show this entire chain of uh, emails every day that baby has sent you know to the mother and this basically is sent every day morning. I'll show you that. Let me first show you this workflow. If I go to editor, completely self-hosted. Uh, it's running in my system uh, uh, within Docker. I haven't deployed it anywhere. Like it's just self-hosted runs uh, locally because my system is on 24 seven, but th that's not the main thing. You can use any virtual machine to deploy this and it will work the same way. Now, if you look at here on schedule trigger, we have a schedule trigger workflow. That schedule uh, is trigger interval is days if you see the days we have days and every day it sends it at 9 a.m but I, i've just shown you now right just right now yeah but you can see it's it's a, it's a schedule trigger then we have a code in the code we are writing about some date i'll say you because you have to set your pregnancy start date like let's say you know if somebody is starting today uh you know officially as a because you can find out find out that in ultrasound uh usg scans and stuff right you can find out the real pregnancy start date and you can see it over today now we have that i as i said right i cannot use as i, as I have self hosted it i cannot use google sheet and all without my setting up oauth and those kind of things on internet and cloud you can just uh sign up and you can get it so i have used Airtable. Because I just said right in my previous N10 videos, I I find a way to use N10 without paying a single penny. Okay, uh, to be honest, and it, it still does my things. Okay, and I have built complex workflows without paying a single penny because I believe it's you can still do it. Okay, there are so much of free resources to use. Now in the air table, I have created this data that you see. It's a simulation of a, it's a synthetic data that I created using Chat GPT for each day, because when a baby is growing. You know, uh, it has to kind of grow its fingers, its eyes, its brain, you know, it's everything, right? Head, uh, legs and stuff. So Chat GPT has created for each day from start, uh, from the date or uh, start of the pregnancy to the end of the pregnancy. You can see the entire thing. And I have pushed this on Airtable, okay? And this data, you can create any other data, uh, you know, like on Chat GPT, we're just asking it. I use Chat GPT to create this data just to just to try it out and see how we can do it the next thing i'm going to add in this project is to add image of a progression of babies using you know image generation models like i can just have an http request uh, and then just send it to flux for example and get that now in the air table and if i show you you can see i have my uh, access tokens on air table that i have set it up over here and my resource is record you can find out base or records so i kept it record operation is search i'm just searching and this is my csv file that you see and this is the name of the table and i'm just looking at the day every day it gives me the what is the current day i don't want don't want to fetch all the 280 days which is the uh, you know time frame for a, a presence to get happen right it's every day just fetch me it finds out what is that day and just fetches that particular row you know from air table so if you see here like day day five day five you can see too early for physical you know you can find out over here too early for physical things and 
uh, cell division, blah, 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 automatic sac forming, heart and circulatory development, heart mm -hmm. begins to beat, heart begins to beat on which week and which day, uh, what day of that week. So you can find it out over here. So it fetches that particular row uh, depending on the day. And I have a limit of one just to fetch that particular day data. And you can sort that with day and ascending order. So this is my air table. I'm not using any Google Sheet or any kind of things. This is free, so I'm using it. AI agent, I have a very, very good prompt over here. You can see you are an unborn baby inside your mommy's worm. Today is day of your development week days. You are currently the size of this. And it's a very good prompt guys, by the way. And then I have a system prompt as well. And this prompt, uh, I have my Google model. Let you see Google Gemini chat model. You can, you, we don't need memories and probably we can add tools depending on, of course, I'm gonna use some tools, but for memory, we don't need it. Okay, we don't need memory because this is a schedule triggered every day, it's write it, so memory is not required. And then this is the interesting thing. As now I have to send email, like, let's say I cannot use Gmail over here uh, because I'm using self-hosted NITNs. Like, I don't have a way to, you know, set up OAuth on the Google Cloud. So I have used a service called Resend. So Resend is, uh, Resend, you can see email for developers. So I have used Resend that you can see. Uh, this is what Recent uh, does. You know, I have an API keys. Uh, Recent basically gives you 1,000 emails per day. I, if I believe, if I'm not wrong, no, 1,000 emails per month, excuse me, per day is too. 1,000 emails per month is completely fine because I know I'm sending email every day uh, once. So I think that is completely fine. So I'm using Recent. I have done an HTTP request. You can see it over here. Post. I have my, I have set up an AP. This is the URL of that. It's, you have to do a post request. You have, I have set up my credentials, bearer auth token. And I have these things that you can find it out from and email where I'm sending this, blah, 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 right? So this is great, right? I have built this workflow uh, as a fund, but this has immense potential to build this kind of creative software. You can also sell it, guys, to be very honest, right? There's a lot of demand of such kind of, you know, creative projects, creative agent-based projects, right? Now, I just wanted to show you that how cool is that? Uh, you know, it works. If you execute, it will success, successfully execute. You can see the execution workflow right now. Airtable is working. You can see the agents are working now and all are green, green, green. And HTTP request will also be green. You can see workflow executed successfully. And of course, it will write an email. You know, you can see the new mail I got it. You can see, hi, mommy, guess what? You can see this is a bit different mail. The baby is growing so fast. Today, I'm feeling super energetic, like I'm doing little baby dances. Really funny. Imagine we attach an image over here. We attach an image. We attach audio, right? This will be amazing, right? We can use open source text-to-speech models like Kokoro or Orpheus and stuff, right, to build it. So this guy is the limit, guys, as I said, right, with AI. You should just know your fundamentals should be really strong. Otherwise, you can just keep scratching the surface and cannot go deep into it. And that's why people are spending thousands of dollars by for building workflows, which is you can do it in very less and really in a affordable manner, I believe, if you know the if you know the stack really well. So a time travel agent for all the women, you know, who are pregnant globally. Uh, this is for you. Uh, and let me know what you think about this project. Very funny project. I don't want to stretch this any further, uh, this video. If you have any thoughts, feedbacks, comments, let me know in the comment box. Uh, you can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us or in the description of this video. Okay. If you like the video, hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.